Afternoon. Um, Balotelli, Real Madrid, are on side four days. How on earth did you manage to sleep last night? But thinking about what lies ahead. Slept very well. Slept very well. It was uh, great yesterday for the supporters and and great that Liverpool are back in their rightful place in the Champions League. So uh, great draw, but it's obviously something that's further down the line for us. But in terms of the way that those Champions League fixtures have panned out, you've got back-to-back -back games against Real Madrid. What, what sort of footballing occasions do you think they're going to be? Of course, two clubs that are very special. You know, you, you're you looking at, what, 15 times winners between the two, which is, which is incredible. So two incredible clubs. And, and I think for the likes of ourselves, it's a great you know, chance for us to play the, the current champions of the... Uh, of the competition and as I said it's, it's absolutely brilliant for our supporters and all the people involved in the city to have Champions League football back again in, in Liverpool. So uh, as I said, the, but the games that are a long way off yet, you know, we've got very important fixtures before that but there's no doubt it felt good yesterday and it must have been great for everyone connected with Liverpool to, to watch the draw and, and obviously see the other opponents that we have as well. I guess the big concern for your fans this weekend is uh, how's Mario and uh, how keen is he to start on Sunday? Mario's fine. Mario's settled in very well. Um, he's looked fantastic in training. And as I said, he's, he's a good lad. So the focus is very much on his football. And as I said, he, he's, he's done very well. In terms of the Spurs game, um, two really good wins for you last season, 4 0 and 5 0. Um, what are you expecting this weekend? Well, even though they were they were good wins for us last season, they were tough games. You know, even the five nil uh, game last season at White Hartley, and we we had to work very hard. But everything in our in our game was outstanding on the day. So, you know, our pressing and organisation and the intensity of our game was was at a high level, and, and obviously the quality of our football was good. So, um, but it will be a hard game, and and we'll expect a hard game. Have you got defensive concerns? Because looking at Monday night, Skirtle, Moreno, Johnson all picked up an ox. How is everybody looking fit this point? We'll see closer to the game, I think. Obviously, uh, young Moreno twisted his ankle, which was unfortunate, but he's, he's been recovering well this week. Glenn Johnson's probably the, the one that, with the thigh problem, could be, could be difficult for him. Martin Skirtle will we'll see over the course of the next 48 hours. But, uh, but other than that, the group has been brilliant this week in training, you know, the, the focus has been very good. And it came off the back of, you know, it was a good performance last week. You know, I analysed the game afterwards and we we played well in the game. Probably they had that bit more cutting edge at the top end of the, the field and, and as I said, that bit of quality up there. So, uh, but for us, we come out of the game having performed well and we look to take that now into our next game. Brendan, how important is it to bounce back straight away if, you, if you're going to try and push towards the top? top end of the league when you have a disappointing result against City and you go into a place like Tottenham at the weekend? Yeah, I think that if you, if you look at our statistics since the time I've been here, it's something that we've, we've become very good at. I think it was after the game the other night, it was a strange feeling because we're not used to losing. You know, without being arrogant, it's a, it's a group that over the last couple of years has been progressively getting better and, and if we can't win the game, we've fought very hard to get something from the game. So. Um, and probably towards the end of the game where we were down to 10 men for the last 10 minutes and it was 3-1, probably there was a little bit of a flat feeling coming off the field for the players. But certainly on analysing everything from a coaching perspective afterwards and, and as a manager, there was a lot of positives from the game and we'll take those into our next game and, and as I said, look to retain that positivity that we have done over the last couple of years. I know you said that you've got a lot to worry about before we get to the Champions League, but have you allowed yourself to look at the fixtures you're going to have after Champions League games and what sort of impact that, that may have on the team and, and, and on performances and that sort of thing? Yeah, well, we've obviously looked at the fixtures and they've, uh, you know, our work, our scouting and, and preparation starts immediately on, on, on that. But, uh, but that was the whole reason why we, we built the squad in the summer. We were very, very small in terms of strength and depth last season, so we've had to add numbers to it, and, but we've brought those in for a purpose, and the reason being is that in those months, September, October, where it is tough into early November for games, we've got players that uh, of quality that can come in and, uh, and meet the challenge, and that's something that this group has done what over the last players? couple of years. Sorry, One of those players coming in, 
is, uh, is Mario Balotelli, of course. How much of a responsibility does he have and how much of a burden does he share with the other forward players to, re to replace the goals that you've lost and the star quality that you've lost in Luis Suarez? None more than the rest of the team. You know, he's, he's a member of the team and come in and, as I said, he is top quality. There's no doubt about that. He's a class act, the boy, you know, wonderful football qualities. And as I said, we're looking to bring him in here and, as I said, he can play with Daniel Sturridge, he can play up there on his own, he can play off the side. So his concentration is very much on his football. You know, he's settled in really well this week. You know, he's, he's moving to Merseyside, he's, he's engrossing himself into the club and the, and the people, but more importantly into his football. And, and that's something that, as I said, I'm looking forward to see that development over the coming years. When we came here to the training ground the other day, there was young children stood on cars, on wheelie bins, whatever they could to try and see over the fence to see Mario training in one of his first days. That excitement that it's created, how can you harness that to help, help everyone this year? I don't think they were just climbing over to see him. It's not the Mario Balotelli show. He's a good player, he's a talented player, but he's got a lot of work to do. Here, we've got a number of top class players, and the star of this team will always be the team. So, I don't think we're climbing on the bins just to see him. That's what they said, that's the reason I asked you, you know. They were excited about him because he, he just. Yeah, I'm sure they are. Um, Brendan, the last few days of the transfer window, are you satisfied with the squad you have, and should we expect any players to be leaving the club in the next few days? There'll probably be more movements out than coming in, I would say. Um, there's still offers for, for players to, to go and, and every player here knows their situation so if they're here after that deadline on, on Monday then of course they, they've decided to stay but the game time may be limited, well will be very limited so uh, but at this moment in time there, there's not many more to come in if any. Um, just a question on the game itself, Spurs of course mm -hmm. last, last season lost the star player to a Spanish club for a big fee. Uh, brought in a lot of players to replace um, areas of the team and struggled uh, to settle them. What gave you the confidence and the belief that you could bring in so many players this summer and that they could not have that kind of a problem? They're just different circumstances. I think totally different. I think that Spurs were a, a strong squad and then they had a top player in Garth Bale, a world-class player. Um, and obviously they will have their reasons for bringing in their players. For us, it was. I think it's pretty obvious. You know, we were very, very low in terms of our numbers and that and that quality and depth. So, irrespective of Louis staying or going, it was something that we had to do. Uh, and I'm very, very glad that we did it because I look at the quality in our training. You know, has has gone up a level because of the competition. I see the hunger uh, that our young players coming into the squad has given and and the boost that it's given the senior players as well because youth brings that energy. Um, so I think it's different circumstances um, but obviously over the course of the next coming years we'll see because it's, it's not just for now. We've brought players in that can affect the team now. Uh, we don't need to put them all in at once. I think that was the beauty of it. And obviously they're going to be here for, for a number of years and hopefully over that time they'll show why we brought them in. A question on Maurizio Pochettino, a manager you admire has clearly made a good start, I suppose. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Done great at Southampton with a, with a really good group of players. Um, we'll go into to Tottenham, I'm sure, and do very well. Good guy, the, the, the meetings I've had with him and spoke with him, real nice guy who, who loves his football, focused on his football, and as I said, I'm sure he looked to go into Tottenham and make a real impact. So uh, I think that you know they've had a good start. You know, two wins, and uh, as I said, but, but they know this is a different game when they play Liverpool, and, and obviously, as I said, we know and understand and respect it'll be a tough game, but we'll look to continue the, uh, with the good fun that we've been playing. International break follows this match. Is that mm -hmm. something that you welcome, or does it frustrate you that you can't keep going if you don't? Not really, no. It doesn't bother me. It's something that I can't control, so I don't worry about it. It's. Uh, it's obviously that difficult period where you're trying to get your rhythm, of course, early on in the season, but it's something that affects every club and every team. So players, you hope to go into it with a positive performance and result. So we can do that. After Sunday, the players will go away and then we'll come back and get ready for the next game. And John Flanagan, are you hoping to get him tied down to a new deal soon? 
with a yeah, with with a bit of luck has been unfortunate. He's he's had a number of injuries, John, since uh, at the time you know, I've been in here and obviously before I came in, just looking at his, his injury record, it's it hasn't been great, but he's a young kid that I really, really want to be a, an important member of our squad. Uh, he deserves a new deal. He's done exceptionally well last season. And hopefully, as I said, he, he's recovering well from his, his injury and we're hoping he'll be back soon. And hopefully that'll be uh, with a new deal as well. Okay. Uh, Brilliant. Just on the rest of the team, is we, are we looking at Adam Alana being ready uh, if selected to make his debut? Adam will be in the squad for sure. He's looked fantastic in training. Of course, he's, he's sh short and well short on match fitness, but um, in, in the training in the last couple of weeks, he's, he's been exceptional. And then just the other bits and pieces, Enrique, Angra, Saidi, those kind of leagues, are they still fit at the moment? Or, uh, Jose Enrique has been back training now for over a week and looks very strong and fit. So, uh, But again, hasn't had a lot of game time. Uh, but we'll see in, over the next 48 hours how those are. The others that you mentioned won't be ready. Okay.